Hey everyone, welcome back to Ledger Life, your stop for what's happening across the decentralized web and the internet computer ecosystem. If you have been here before, you know we like to mix things up, looking at what's being built, what's changing, and who is pushing things forward. Today, we have got four stories that really capture the energy of what's happening around the internet computer. From a growing community of AI developers to a new set of tools designed to make building easier than ever, there is a lot to get into. So grab a drink, settle in, let's start with some caffeine quite literally. The caffeine AI community has just passed another milestone and it's not a small one. More than 100 new public applications have been added in the latest update, bringing the total to 562. That includes 477 apps and 85 games. For a relatively new platform, that's an impressive show of momentum. Developers can explore all of these through the community showcase. And it's a fascinating look at what people are creating. Everything from AI chatbots and creative tools to small, quirky games that test what's possible with decentralized AI. Alongside the growing app count, Caffeine AI has rolled out custom domain support through something called Caf Brew. If you have ever struggled to connect your decentralized app to a clean, easy to remember web address, this feature will probably sound like a relief. Instead of going through DNS setups or external services, users can now link their apps directly to personalized URLs, all managed on-chain. The CAFBrew dashboard makes it simple to handle domains, payments, and wallet management, and it integrates internet identity for secure access. It's one of those updates that doesn't shout for attention but quietly changes the experience of building and showcasing apps. It removes friction, and that's a big deal for developers who want to focus on creation, not configuration. Caffeine AI seems to be doubling down on its mission, like make AI-powered app creation easy, secure, and accessible. With hundreds of projects already live and more arriving each week, the platform is becoming a creative hub. It's like a part playground, part production environment for builders across the internet computer ecosystem. And speaking of creativity, it's not just community developers taking notice. One person in particular has decided to get hands-on with Caffeine, and it's someone you will definitely recognize. Our one and only Dominic Williams, the founder of Internet Computer, recently shared his excitement about building a blog using Caffeine AI. That's right, the man behind the protocol itself is now using tools built on top of it to create content. He highlighted that the platform lets you produce fully functional, production-ready applications that run securely on the open internet computer. That's a big endorsement and a clear message to developers that what's being built on Caffeine isn't just for testing or demos. It's ready for real-world use. What's interesting here is how Williams framed the experience. He described Caffeine AI as a game-changing, not because it's flashy, but because it lowers the barrier to building and deploying resilient applications on-chain. That's been one of the ongoing challenges in the Web3 world. Getting from I have an idea to I have a working product. Tools like Caffeine AI seem to bridge that gap, offering a space where creators can actually publish, update, and run their apps on a decentralized network without having to deal with complex backend work. So when the founder of the internet computer starts building his own blog on this system, it's more than just a personal experiment, it's a signal. It shows confidence that the tech is mature enough for everyday use. The endorsement also feeds into something bigger. This sense that decentralized infrastructure is finally becoming practical. It's not about reinventing everything. It's about giving creators the same kind of convenience they would get on traditional platforms, but without the lock-ins or gatekeepers. And now, with the Caffeine community gaining both credibility and traction, it seems like the platform could play a growing role in the next phase of the internet computer story. Now, if that's inspired you to build something of your own, the next bit might be just what you need because the Caffeine team is giving the community a creative challenge this week. The goal, to create an analysis dashboard that tracks social media activity for a single business. At first glance, it might sound like a straightforward task, but there's a twist. Participants are limited to just five prompts. That's it. 
five steps to produce our working AI powered dashboard. It's a clever way to focus on creativity, precision, and problem solving rather than endless iteration. To give the community a head start, the team has already shared an example build that used only two prompts. You can explore it yourself at the link given in the description, and it's worth checking out to see what's possible within those boundaries. Developers are encouraged to post their own versions as replies using the hashtag buildwithcaffeine. The format feels casual, but the impact goes deeper. It turns the process of learning and experimenting into something social and collaborative. What's great about these challenges is how they bring people together. Whether you are a designer, coder, or just curious about how AI apps come to life, the community aspect keeps things light and engaging, while the technical goal pushes everyone to explore what the platform can do. It's less about competition and more about creativity, about showing that AI tools don't need to be locked away in research labs. They can be something anyone can use to build, test, and share new ideas in a weekend. That mix of accessibility and experimentation is what makes Kiffin AI stand out. It's not just a toolkit, it's a living community that builds together, learns together, and shares what it discovers. And while Kiffin has been busy on the AI side, another major platform in the internet computer ecosystem has been rolling out its own wave of updates. This one focused squarely on developers. ICP Ninja has launched a series of new features designed to make building and deploying apps on the internet computers smoother and more efficient. One of the headline updates is its integration with CycleOps. It's a service that automates canister management. If you are new to the terminology, canisters are essentially the smart contracts or cord containers that run on the internet computer. Managing them manually, like topping up cycles, monitoring activity, can be tedious. CycleOps fixes that by automating the process, ensuring your canisters never run out of cycles. That means fewer interruptions, more reliability, and less time spent on maintenance. Developers can now focus on their projects instead of worrying about resource management. Another update that's generating buzz is the distribution of free publishing coupons to all registered users. These coupons allow developers to deploy their apps to the ICP mainnet without paying extra cost. It's a move clearly aimed at encouraging experimentation and lowering entry barriers. ICP Ninja has also added a live preview feature inside its editor, so developers can see their canisters and apps update in real time. That might sound small, but it's a quality of life upgrade that shortens the development loop dramatically. Beyond these core tools, the platform now offers a range of example projects. Everything from a Bitcoin wallet and NFT creator to encrypted nodes and Solana Fusion tools. These templates make it easier for developers to start with a base and then customize from there rather than building everything from scratch. Community visibility has also improved through a new community project section where users can showcase their work, connect with others, and get recognition for their builds. Developers can now create custom usernames too, giving their profiles a bit more personality within the ecosystem. For those who prefer a certain aesthetic, ICP Ninja now supports a dark mode, switchable manually or set to auto. It's a small but appreciated touch, especially for anyone who spends long hours coding. And there is a cherry on top, a bounty program where developers can submit their projects for a chance to win 10 ICP. Incentives like this encourage high quality, innovative submissions while keeping the community active and motivated. Taken together, these updates show that ICP Ninja is an ecosystem within an ecosystem. It's evolving into a platform that supports the full developer journey from experimentation to deployment and now even recognition. So whether you are experimenting with AI dashboards, launching canisters with automated cycles, or building your next decentralized game, there is no shortage of movement in the internet computer world right now. It's an exciting time for builders, the kind where small updates can make a big difference in how ideas become reality. That wraps up today's Ledger Life update. If you found these stories interesting, make sure you are subscribed. You will find all the links, including donation details, in the description below. 
Supporting Leisure Life helps us keep exploring this space and bringing you independent coverage of the internet, computer, and beyond. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.